Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here and it is Sunday the 22nd of September. Thanks again for watching. Uh, as always, just a reminder, the sites get free of charge by the adverts you're seeing around the screen here. So when you come back and use the site, it's that that keeps us free of charge. Now, lots going on at the moment. This is uh, Typhoon Usagi and uh, just moving into Hong Kong during the course of Sunday afternoon. You can see the centre of it there on the satellite picture and here it is moving its way eastwards during the course of the afternoon. It is going to be weakening. Um, strength is being taken out of it all the time but could still bring winds of over 100 miles an hour into Hong Kong. Quite a dramatic picture there. Another typhoon forming further south as well right now. So really active around the tropics but nothing major affecting the states uh, although the Gulf of Mexico has got quite a system in there at the moment which is bringing lots of heavy rain. Not quite so exciting closer to home but uh, this is uh, what we've got at the moment from the 7 to 10 day means the 500 millibar flow and ECMWF on the left GFS on the right and um, being using these over the last few days as you know just to compare the two models and again look big differences between the two. GFS showing below normal heights look out towards the west of the country uh, sorry the ECMWF showing this below normal heights out towards the west of the country. The GFS though look showing above normal heights there off towards the west so complete contrast between the two but I've got to say I don't like the look of this GFS operational the um, the ensemble was looking better but uh, not keen on that uh, on that GFS at all I still prefer the idea of the ECMWF and the CFS is backing up the idea as well of a more uh, unsettled end to this week into the weekend this is the week one forecast so this takes us forward to the 28th of September and uh, shows high pressure dominating don't forget this is um, the average for the week ahead so it's the average of the heights for the week ahead and shows trough out in the Atlantic but shows the big ridge here through the UK which would have high pressure somewhere here and also this big block look across the top um, of the uh, of the pole um, but what's interesting is when we get on to week two, uh, then the CFS picks up on the idea of the trough out towards the west. Big blocking ridge here across the states. Look, more of a ridge here coming in through uh, Europe. But it has the idea of the trough and the area of low pressure off towards the west. So it is indicating that it wants to bring in more unsettled conditions during that period. Although it keeps the low pressure out towards the west, which incidentally goes more along with what the Canadian model is suggesting. Um, out towards the east it tries to keep things uh, drier overall but I think it's interesting the CFS showing this, showing more unsettled uh, conditions during this week, certainly more unsettled than the GFS is showing. And then week three look, uh, real unsettled conditions showing up on the CFS, wants to put lower than normal heights over the top of us, that would be an area of low pressure in here, still got this block across the top look but brings that low in which would bring unsettled conditions through this middle part of October between the 6th and the 12th and I've got to say that looks reasonable to me and we're really into week 4, 13th to the 19th of October, still got lower pressure up towards the north here look with a ridge out here in the Atlantic, actually that ridge probably blocks through there somewhere. Uh, and more of a westerly flow with mixed conditions across many areas. The worst of the weather uh, across uh, probably northern parts of Scotland, where there could be uh, rain, well, where there will be rain or most of the rain. And I think many areas perhaps seeing some outbreaks of rain too during this period. So some consistency coming in there from the uh, from the various different um, outputs and. Really, this seems to just be a, it's a two-way split between whether it's low pressure that's in or whether it's high pressure that's in showing on the models. But I'm still leaning in to this lower pressure scenario. But we've got a couple of warm days ahead. This is the chart for Sunday afternoon. High pressure dominating across the south. And you can still see it's there through Monday too. Still got high pressure here off towards the southeast with this south to southeasterly flow. Bits and pieces of drizzle around out towards the west where there'll be more low cloud. And also, I do think mist and fog as well could be quite dense Monday morning, particularly kind of within this sort of area. Uh, slow to clear as well. And then on to Tuesday, cold front coming south through Scotland, bring some outbreaks of rain across northern and eastern parts of Scotland. I think some cloud just running ahead of this feature as well down these eastern coasts. More western and southern areas look to be dry though, with some um, bright or sunny spells. Certainly cooler conditions coming in. I think uh, we'll see tops of around 24 across southern coasts, but only 12 in northern Scotland, and this cooler weather coming southwards all the time. 
And then for Wednesday, well, the surface front gets stuck up towards the north, but I think there's going to be a feature running ahead of it. So I think within this sort of zone, we're probably quite cloudy, outbreaks of spot, well, outbreaks of drizzle and outbreaks of rain. 12 in northern Scotland, probably only a 15 across northern England, and I think struggling up to an 18 in the drier and brighter south. And on Thursday, while the front clears away down towards the southwest, still bits and pieces of rain left on it, I think, across southern Ireland, southwest England, and uh, southern parts of England. Not much, though, and I think most areas are dry with broken cloud, but this flow coming in off the North Sea is going to bring a chillier day to all. So although lots of dry weather, I think it is going to be rather cool. And just to reiterate those falling temperatures, really, this is the chart for Manchester. Look for the next eight days. You can see how those temperatures just fall off after peaking through uh, Monday. So that's it for now. Plenty going on. Um, need to just keep an eye on things for the end of the week. That's where most of the uncertainty is and into next weekend. But for now, thanks for watching weatherweb.net. Don't forget to tell your friends about us and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.